BlueStax is an American technology company that produces the BlueStax App Player and other cloud-based cross-platform products. The BlueStax App Player is designed to enable Android applications to run on PCs running Microsoft Windows and Apple's Mac OS. The company was founded in 2009 by Jay Vaishnav, Suman Seraf, and Rosen Sharma, former CTO at McAfee and a board member of Cloud.com. Investors include Andreessen Horowitz, Redpoint, Samsung, Intel, Qualcomm, Citrix, Radar Partners, Ignition Partners, AMD, and others. May 25, 2011, at the Citrix Synergy Conference in San Francisco. Citrix CEO Mark Templeton demonstrated an early version of BlueStacks on stage and announced that the companies had formed a partnership. The public alpha version of App Player was launched on October 11, 2011. App Player exited beta on June 7, 2014. Topic: <laughs> App Player. The App Player is downloadable Windows and macOS software that virtualizes an Android operating system. The software's basic features are free to download and use. Advanced optional features require a paid monthly subscription. The company claims the app player can run over 96% of the 1.4 million apps in the Google Play Store as of April 24, 2015. It reached the 109 million download mark in December, 2015. App player features mouse, keyboard, and external touchpad controls. <laughs> BlueStacks for Mac On June 27, 2012, the company released an Alpha 1 version of its App Player software for Mac OS, while the beta version was released on December 27, 2012. In April 2015, BlueStacks, Inc. announced that a new version of App Player for Mac OS was in development. In July 2015, BlueStacks, Inc. released the new version for Mac OS. Mac OS development and support was discontinued in November 2017. Development for Mac OS has been restarted, as a version dated March 2018 is available from the website. As of the release of Mac OS Mojave, BlueStacks for Mac is currently incompatible. <laughs> BlueStacks 2 In December 2015, BlueStacks, Inc. released the new version BlueStacks 2.0 which lets users run multiple Android apps simultaneously. BlueStacks 2.0 is also available for Mac OS by 10.9 Mavericks or later. And currently the most stable of the releases update from 2018. <laughs> BlueStacks TV BTV. On April 7, 2016, the company released BlueStacks TV which integrated Twitch.tv directly into the BlueStacks app player. This addition allows users to stream their apps to Twitch without the need for extra hardware or software. BlueStacks released Facebook Live integration in September 2016, allowing users to stream their gameplay to their Facebook profiles, pages they control, or Facebook groups they belong to. BlueStacks 3 In July 2017 BlueStacks released BlueStacks 3 based on a brand new engine and front-end design. BlueStacks 3 added App Center which personalizes game suggestions, an account system, chat, new keymapping interface, and multi-instance. Multi-instance allows users to launch multiple BlueStacks windows using either the same or different Google Play account. BlueStacks 3N On January 19, 2018, BlueStacks announced the release of the BlueStacks Plus N beta which runs on Android 7 Android Nougat and claimed to be the first and only Android gaming platform to have Android 7. The majority of Android emulators run Android 4.4 KitKat. This version, still in beta, is powered by an upgraded Hyperg. Graphics engine allowing BlueStacks to utilize the full array of Android 7 APIs. BlueStacks 4 
On September 18, 2018, Bluestax announced the release of its latest flagship version, Bluestax 4. Bluestax 4 benchmarks 6 to 8x faster than every major mobile phone according to the Antutu benchmark. Bluestax 4 also includes dynamic resource management which only initializes the required Android libraries thus freeing resources. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Minimum requirements. Minimum requirement for app player for Windows include, Windows XP SP3 or higher, 2GB or higher system memory, 4GB of hard drive space, and a GPU with Direct Buy 9.0 or higher capabilities. The user also requires administrator privileges. Bluestacks clashes with the Bitdefender antivirus software. An update to the latest graphic card driver version is also recommended. Newer versions of Bluestacks App Player have raised hardware requirements but offer increased performance. Minimum requirements for macOS are, macOS Sierra or higher, 4GB RAM, 4GB disk space. <laughs> GamePop On May 9, 2013, the subscription service GamePop was announced. It allows users to play as many as 500 mobile games on TV. On July 23, 2014 Samsung announced it had invested in and was backing GamePop. This brought total outside investment in Bluestacks to $26 million. See also Android x86 VirtualBox Bluestacks Alternatives <laughs>